Hey guys, how's it going? Just up here now to uh, check my snares net. And uh, if you were following along, of course, you know, I only got uh, three snares out. You know, season's getting uh, pretty well close to closure now, another two weeks, I believe. I'm hoping to be really lucky because, like I said, I only have three snares out, so, you know, the odds of, uh, you know, when you come to look at the big picture of things, the odds of actually getting a rabbit with three snares is pretty slim, but, uh, you know, uh, I look at it as, you know, more the experience, you know, of just coming up in the woods and just sitting in the snares, just sort of thing. To me, that's, uh, that's the biggest thing, right? Off to the first snare. Come up, up, coming up on the first snare here now. Oh man, deadly. This is lucky, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a young rabbit, but you know, a rabbit is a rabbit, I guess. Man, oh man, that's pretty lucky, I tell you. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's only a little one, but. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome. Man, he's got this. Man, he's wrapped around here good. So guys, oh, it's only, uh, only a young rabbit, but uh, you know, to still make a nice meal for somebody, right? But it's a couple spots like that. Let me see. So with just a few bows there hanging down like that and I noticed when I sit that snare there, if you've seen in my last video, and uh, I looked in under you can see where the rabbit was up and under those bows eating. And I seen a lot of a lot of rabbit buttons and all that there. So uh, I've gotten quite a few like that over the years. Sitting uh, sitting snares just under bows there like that. So, uh, you know, once again, it proves to be uh, successful, eh? Well, like I says only a small rabbit, but, uh, you know, that'll make a nice meal for somebody, right? Yes, sir. Coming up on the second snare there now, guys. No luck in this one. That's all right. One for two, one more snare to check. I never, uh, there's no way gonna be lucky enough two, <laughs> two for three, but. Obviously, I got to check them anyway, but <laughs> we'll see. So, I uh, just came up here to the last snare and nothing. So, at least I'm not going to complain, that's for sure. Like I said, you know, one one, uh, one rabbit out of three snares, you know, definitely not going to complain about that. That's nothing to complain about, eh? What I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to clean this rabbit here now. I'm going to show you a little, a little tool that I use. So what I'm going to be doing now is making a uh, rabbit game bro or small game game bro, whichever you want to call it. Of course, this is old technology. You know, this this has been around uh, for <laughs> I don't know how long, but you know, it's if you can call it technology, it's very very old technology. Eh? Uh, so for starters, I just got myself a a stick here. It's, I got it cut about ten inches long. I got. Uh, hose drilled in it. I did this part at home so I wouldn't have to take my drill with me. So what I got done, I got one hole drilled here about an inch and a quarter in and a second hole inch and quarter in and the same thing on this side. Okay so inch and quarter in and then another one inch and quarter from that one. Now you know the size of hole you're going to drill is going to you know is going to depend on the, it's going to depend on the, you know the size of the, line that you're going to use or war or whatever the case may be so i'm using the uh, uh, 550 power cord so like uh, you know when you're field dressing rabbits and you know you're pulling the fur and that off them you, you know you're 
pulling down fairly hard at times so you want something you know that's going to be uh, that's going to be strong enough to hold the strain right so what we're going to do first so we're going to go down through the outside eye and then we're going to go up through the inside it's probably going to want to using paragord it's probably going to rip out on you I'm trying to shove it through but so once you do that just want to tie tie a knot or actually you can tie two just to be just to be sure I highly doubt it'll slip but you know just to be safe tie two knots now this will stop from drawing back through right so once you get that end on you're going to grab the opposite end of your line and you're going to go down through the outside hole on the opposite end. Okay, you're just going to pull that through. And once you pull that through, you're going to go up through the second hole. And the last, of course. And you're just going to pull that through. And again, we're just going to Put a couple of knots in the end. And cut off any excess there hanging out so that it looks a bit tidy. Now if you want, you could also like melt the ends here. Now, I don't have a lighter or nothing with me so I can't do that. Not a big deal. But uh, that's that. So uh, let's go set it up now and uh, Get that rabbit cleaned. So uh, if you notice, obviously I got this plenty of, I made this plenty of long, right? So I got a lot more there than I need, but I like that plenty of just in case, you know, I need to hang it higher or whatever the case may be, right? But if you're in a situation like this where you don't, uh, where you don't need as much, you just, uh, you know, just put it there and I'll, and I'll it out, see how much you need. And then all you need to do is just, just tie a little knot in it like that. So all you're going to do now is just loosen up these holes. Put the rabbit's leg through like that. And you do the same thing. That's it. So uh, obviously when you pull down, as you're pulling down your skin and the rabbit, that's keeping that tight. Now for the most part, you shouldn't have any issues of it slipping, but if it do, just one little tip. Uh, when you put the rabbit's leg through here, make sure his foot is up on top of that stick. And that, uh, you know, lessen the chance of, you know, actually pulling it through. But I've never had an issue, never ever pulled one through, so it shouldn't be a problem, right? But, uh, you know, just keep that in mind. So I never had no uh, disposable gloves left, so I robbed these orange gloves. <laughs> I wouldn't even worry with gloves too much, but I got the hammer, hand on camera gear, so, you know. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's get this uh, rabbit cleaned there now. So before it does anything, I'm going to uh, remove the rabbit's front legs. And uh, I usually remove those first because uh, when you uh, it'll make things a whole lot easier after. And you can pull them out over and pull the legs through and then cut them off. But if you cut them off right from the start, it just make uh, Skinning that rabbit a whole lot easier. Alright. 
So it's usually pretty easy, you know, even if you're stuck in a survival situation, you know, you can get away with uh, clean the rabbit even without a knife really, so it's not really a hard right? So this one's still a bit frozen. A little bit of usually peels off pretty good, but where the legs and it's frozen, seems to want to stick on there pretty good. We we'll just tail off here now. Alright, so we're just going to get the front legs there now. It comes off pretty easy. Just make a slip down across. Move the front leg. Same thing on this side. You, you can follow along your seat. You can see the shape of the leg there, right? So very easy. Just cut around it. And remove the leg. Now the ribs, just make a, just want to break it there, cut across the rib. Now when you get to this point here, you can always remove one leg, okay, and all you can do is just run my knife down across there and break that bone. And just cut off the leg. And of course, you got to remove his hind paw too. Removes pretty easy. Of course, the last one. And we're done. A great thing about, you know, field dressing this rabbit at like outside, you don't have to worry about the mist so much. You know, if you bring them home, like I've done countless times, you know, you have to be a lot more careful, you know, flying fur around your house everywhere and blood and all this sort of thing, right? But uh, if you got nobody, now if you got somebody with you, you know, you, you know they can always hold on the rabbit for you. But, uh, so that's it guys, that's the, that's the game bro. Dandy little rig. And uh, you know, it makes a few address and rabbits a whole lot easier. Well guys, that's it for this one. You know, I hope, I hope you like this video. It seems like a few trips the year that I took my camera with me to check my snares and that, and never had no luck. You know, the only time I see, I think I got rabbits was when I didn't have my camera with me. So this time, you know, we actually, actually got a rabbit. And you know, you got to see, you got to see the field dressing done. And not only that, of course, you got to see, uh, uh, the game bro so you know that's uh, I suppose I'm pronouncing that right I may not be because you know I tend to miss up words as you as you uh, I'm sure you know if you follow along but <laughs> but uh, you know that's not a big deal anyway uh, you know I hope you uh, hope you find this useful and uh, you know of course you can use uh, you can make a game bro just for for just about anything like a coyote or anything like that obviously you would have to make it a lot bigger but you know you can 
you, you can make one of those for just about anything. So, uh, you know, I hope you find that useful. And I uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Look at this, guys. The fox decided to come up here. And it looks like uh, you might be having to feed a rabbit. So guys, I don't know what you think of that, but you know, just as I was in the video, that fox came up and uh, you know he, he took the, the head of the rabbit, and I'm sure he'll be back for more, but. That fox must have been one hungry fox. <laughs> oh my. What's the chances of that, right? This must be one of my lucky days, I guess. <laughs>